Now it's time to open up the dictionary of paranormal terminology, and we have oneuromancy, which is the interpretation of dreams. And of course, throughout history, we have many precognitive dreams, such as dating back to the Bible, that appeared to be accurate. One recent case revolves around Romanus Diogenes from Constantinople. I don't know if it's that recent. In 1065, he was a high-ranking army officer from a wealthy family arrested for treason, for plotting to overthrow Emperor Constantine X. At this time, the Byzantine Empire had split off from the Holy Roman Empire. He was imprisoned for two years, about to be executed in 1067. Then, he had this precognitive dream that he would marry Eudokia, the queen, and told the jailer. Word spread to the queen, and she invited him to the court. She was so impressed with his charm and his handsome looks that she granted him a pardon. And then shortly thereafter, Constantine X mysteriously died. Perhaps Eudokia killed him because she then married Romanus, and his dream came true. He was now Romanus IV, emperor of the Byzantine Empire. He waged war against the Turks for about three years, but was captured in 1071. They treated him regally and released him for a ransom. However, in the interim, his enemies at court had sent Eudokia to a convent, and when he returned, he was tortured and died of an infection. He reigned for three years, from 1068 to 1071, but his precognitive dream was absolutely on the mark. Now, let's see another example of a precognitive dream, this pertaining to the Titanic, from the TV series One Step Beyond, starring Barbara Lord as the daughter, Isabel Elsom as the mother. Roll tape. Father, Titan. Not quite the Titanic, but very close. 